Hello to my Aries. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it. All right, Aries, talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart. Let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. Bam. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's in your cards, Aries. Let's go. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We currently have four... If you count, Chiron is a planet. Four planets that are retrograde. And um, so it's Chiron, Neptune, uh, Pluto, and Saturn are retrograde. And Mercury is pre-shadow retrograde. That's going to be really important. Um, so you can already jump ahead and find out what all of that means. We do have a on the um, Knowledge channel. The link is below in the description. There's a whole retrograde series on my second channel, my second YouTube channel. So you can go check that out. And let's see what else we got on. We're still in a cycle, so we're officially in the last quarter moon um, phase. And so we're trying to close out this cycle, trying to finish out strong. We had a full buck moon in Capricorn on the 21st of July. So what habits are you breaking? What cycles, chains, and curses are you breaking? And which ones did you document? You, know, you, you broke something. They broke some kind of cycles, chains, and curses. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. First card out of the deck is the Seven of Wands. Here we have the Page of Wands. Here we also have the Tower card. Here we have the Emperor card, Nine of Wands, and also the, the Knight of Swords. So seven. So seven lets me know that something is complete. So somebody is now learning how to spend some time, not only through prayer, but also meditation, right? Here we have it. Somebody's going to feel a lot stronger when you meditate, like pray, the prayer and meditation go hand in hand, right? And so somebody's definitely having a Tower moment, right? Um... And that's your ruling planet, Mars, right? So somebody's having a tower moment. And that's just really just kind of sort of really inspiring somebody to really, you know, because you've gone through a long and arduous journey um, and of just like a test of your faith, right? And so now somebody is more focused than before, like laser focused before, um, um, ambitious, more focused, like, you know, really just saying, okay, I got work to do. Like, I really, really got work to do. I really need to sit down. I need to get away from familiar spirits, you know, energies that I get away from that way of thinking. I need to break that habit of like um, getting too familiar too fast with something like, you know, and basically jumping to conclusions about something too fast. Like I need to get away from that. Or even, you know, like I mentioned to you all a couple of, what was that, a couple of videos ago, and I was like, be careful. Some of you all have some familiar spirits around you. Some of your neighbors are starting to get a little familiar with your um with your comings and goings. Um Aries, they looking at looking to see, okay, what kind of car are you pulling up in, who's coming to your house. And that wasn't for the purpose of somebody getting paranoid, but it's for the purpose of you looking around, like paying attention. Because if you're going through a long and arduous journey in other areas of your life and you're not paying attention and these energies are like watching, like watching every little thing you do, you don't want the tower to fall on you. So source is saying to you, you want to, you want to start paying attention through the power of prayer and meditation because some energies, I feel like somebody could have some youthful energies around them that's doing a little gossiping. You know what I'm saying? They could feel like, okay, they, they, they see you going through some stuff. You could seem like you, you know, don't walking out the house and papers flying all over the place, falling on the floor, I mean, on the ground. They see you going through something. They could see if you're, if you're, you know, older or younger and you got a lot of kids or you got kids and you're trying to put the car seat in the back. Like they can see that you, you got stuff going on. Like people are paying attention to that. Or if you're in a cell phone talking, cause a lot of you all are able to, um, do multiple things successfully at once. But if you got people that's around you and they looking at every little, they watching you watching every little thing that you do sources saying to you, and if you're going through, a, a test of your faith in other areas of your lives and you distracted and you're not paying attention because you're not sitting down like, okay, I need to sit down and I need to pray and meditate so I can gather my thoughts about stuff. It's like when you're going through meditation, everything kind of sort of slows down. So you start to remember stuff in slow motion going on around you. Oh, that's right. That neighbor over there, they had, you know, they was backing out of the driveway and they was kind of looking over and like, can look like he was kind of paying too much attention to, you know, what was going on over my yard or whatever the case may be, or that person at work, they was, you know, they was asking all kinds of questions. You know how sometimes you think back and you go like, you know, I ain't never paying attention to that. Like 
that kind of stuff. So source is saying to you, you know, you're having a tower moment. You're you're having a tower moment. Um and some kind of an awakening, you know, some kind of an awakening. So here we have, there it is, tower card two, two tower um, cards. So somebody's having like a double tower moment. And um, here we have Knight of Cups. And you're just learning how to save yourself. You're not waiting for other people to save you. Like, oh, did you, did you notice that, uh, you know, your neighbor, you know, they was asking all kinds of questions about such and such. Did you notice that, um, you know, do you notice they was gossiping? Or you know that they was talking about the neighbor down the street? Or did you notice that, you know, they hanging out with a certain type of friends and stuff? You notice your kids are hanging out with a certain type of friends. Like, you're not waiting for somebody else to save you from something. You are starting to slow down and start to pay attention, right? So, yeah. Here we have the three of pentacles here. And you're starting to say, okay, I want to make sure, like, let's say, for instance, we have page energy with this youthful, you know, somebody could be somehow connected to entertainment in some way, shape, form, or fashion to say, okay, maybe somebody is in a uh, wilderness situation. Maybe somebody's in a situation where they're being bullied or, you know, they're, you know, they're running from something, you know, or they're just like, you know, they're looking for somebody to save them in some way, shape, form, or fashion, right? Here we have the page of pentacles. Um, somebody's learning how to pay attention to you and your loved ones. Somebody's starting to pay attention to some things. Here we have the hermit card, right? Um, and also, and not again, jump to conclusions without sitting down and really just like meticulously, this is right here. This connects us to Virgo, which is a very, this is a, the, I analyze that without analyzing situations. Because again, if you jump into conclusions about stuff, you can have a gross miss, um, you know, misreading something, right? Or you can be right on point about something. Like you can know when it's like, okay, well, oh, whoa, I misread something. I, you know, you can save yourself, you know, some issues if you feel like, okay, gosh, you know, this, um, you know how, because um, I'm looking at this, uh, this keyboard here. You know how um, people may be trying to tell you stuff in, in various ways and you, they may not be able to say it, right? They may be listening to certain types of music trying to tell you stuff like or um, they may ask you for help in certain types of ways and just the way they talk and they can seem like they're very anxious or nervous about certain types of things and they're trying to tell somebody something but somebody's like, oh, okay, y'all, okay, I'm into this, you know, this and not, not even paying attention to what the real message is or um so the source is saying the beauty of being in divine feminine energy and going through analyzing your day every day is being able to keep, could, uh, uh, the hermit card connects us with Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury, which is currently pre-shadow retrograde. It's not officially retrograde until August 5th, but it's pre-shadow retrograde is catching the messages that people may be too afraid to tell you. They may be able to too afraid to tell you something. Um, it could be your kids, it can be your grandkids, it could be your best friend, it's somebody that's coming through, you know, that could be going through something where they're being bullied and you look, you know, knowing how to analyze certain things and just letting people know, you know, that you can't save them, but these are ones of things that they can say ways of them saving themselves, you know, um, through pouring into themselves to kind of give them the courage to, um, you know, to strengthen themselves and find the light within themselves to leave behind situations where they may feel like, okay, they're in a wilderness situation. They're in a wilderness situation because when people are in, in, um, wilderness situations and then they're in survival mode, they're looking for nourishment. So that nourishment can come in the form of your words. They're looking for water. They're looking for fresh water. They're not looking for toxicity. They're not looking for arguments. Well, how come you just won't tell me? Well, why don't you just say it? They're not looking for all of that. They're looking for fresh water. They're looking for kindness. I love you. I'm here for you. If you need me, they're looking for that kind of stuff. Um, um, and so same thing with a spouse, same thing for love interest, same thing for whatever. People are looking for just the, you know, just the... Um, not that they may think that you can save them, but we don't have the power to do that. But people are looking for, you know, somebody to be understanding. And that's what I'm seeing here in the cards. Not like, you know, um, 
but that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing uh, here in the car. So somebody's having a like a double tower moment here, like the double awakening um, of two energies that could have been like in survival mode from something. So you're gonna feel very very fortunate to, like I said, so, um, some kind of. Um, unexpected change uh positive changes are happening in you that's what i'm saying through prayer and meditation somebody is now starting to slow down and really pay attention to the messages that source is sending to you and then we have the death card here so it's like having three tower moments like three awakenings like boom 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 like everything is not f like flying in fast motion this right here the hermit card is letting me know that somebody is in receiving mode of just saying I need to get away from other people's drama so I can I can need to detach. That's what the breaking point is. I need to break away from other people's drama so I can quiet my mind and I can sit down and be in receiving mode so I can know if there are energies that are connected to me that's in survival situations, survival mode situations. Here we have the star card, right? If there's somebody out there that feels like they're fending for themselves and they feel like, you know, they're trying to be hopeful and, and blissful and optimistic, I can read through the lines. I can read, I can pay, I can read through, I can, I can read through the lines. So somebody is learning how to be optimistic, hopeful, blissful, um, uh, moving forward and see, you know, if somebody's in those situations. Here we also have the queen of wands here. Um, and so I see you on your throne, care, um, carefully betting your thoughts. And so this is actually rewarding you again for um, taking the high road, like being in, you know, just learning how to take in the high road as, as you're analyzing situations and moving forward. Here we also have the eight of cups. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other, right? So it's just saying um, part of you learning how to save yourself is when you're seeing how people move instead of calling people a snake somebody saying okay that's a that's a kundalini experience that i'm having so i'm seeing i'm having some kind of an awakening here so the scales are removing from my eyes so i'm not going to automatically go to the negative i'm going into prayer and meditation if i'm seeing people move a certain way they could be in survival mode right and so um so let me let me slow down and let me sit down somewhere and pray and meditate before I assume the worst about people. They could have been left uncovered and unprotected for so long, you know, they could just be like trying to like look for some kind of covering, like some kind of protection or some kind of, you know, um, a safe space, you know, where they feel like, okay, they need to heal, you know. Um, so, so it's, you're finally getting some rest. You're moving on from past disappointments and getting focused, right? Looking for... Somebody is um, some kind of, um, instead of looking for people's acceptance and looking for people's approval, source is actually sending new money across your path and new money could come in the form of, it can come in a lot of different forms, but some kind of um, teamwork or something like in terms of like, uh, um, like working together as a team in some way, shape, form, or fashion, like you and somebody working together as a team um, and some kind of an approval, you know, coming through, you know, working together as a team. So here we have the Ace of Cups. So somebody's definitely learning how to, um, here we have the uh, Ace, hold on, seven, eight, yeah. Like I said, move on from past disappointments and learning just like a new start, new beginning. Somebody's not going to be spending a whole lot of time overthinking things in the future. That's what somebody's going to break away from. Somebody's definitely going to break away from something. When I look at when I look at this, I feel like somebody has been in survival mode themselves. And I feel like... Um, Moving forward, somebody saying that you're going to be more hopeful, optimistic, you know, moving forward and seeing that like in family situations, 
you know, like whatever family, like work family, blood relative family, that kind of stuff. Somebody going to start paying attention, you know, and just kind of um, being around certain situations. Because I feel like somebody's going to be getting married or you may have been married and didn't pick up on something before, maybe with an ex-spouse or something. Uh, about the dynamics of their family in terms of like family legacy remember legacy is not just about money it's like what's passed down generationally right so blessings and burdens that could be passed down generationally um which for some people some of the burdens that are passed down are just nightmares um so i definitely feel like moving forward somebody is going to um, now that everything is like, you know, coming together, like lining up, you start to, somebody is starting, things are starting to line up for you. Some people are looking for other people's acceptance, but they, they, I feel like when you're talking about teamwork here, somebody's going to learn how to meet kind of in the middle of like, okay, what do we have in common? Let's be inspired by what we have in common. Let's, let's focus on what we have in common. And um, if you're with somebody, like let's say, I feel like somebody could be getting married. Somebody could be saying, what, let's focus on what we have in common. Because what you, we, you also have that in common too, being in situations where you're in survival mode, but you're not trying to trauma bond with anybody. It's just like, oh, yeah, we have that in survival, we have that in common, but we're going to break that. We're going to break that generational curse. We're going to break that generational cycle. We're going to break that, you know, uh, that confusion, that chaos and confusion. And we're going to, we're going to build something brand new. We're going to focus on, you know, and being inspired by something else, being inspired by uh, um, our purpose, you know. So let's analyze what is the purpose. So what is, when you're at a fork in the road and energies are, um, when there's confusion and you want to jump to conclusions about things, you're going to say, oh, let me stop myself. But I want to jump to conclusions when I can pray about something or if you have somebody right there, you can just ask the question. Okay, what is this? What is that? I don't want to jump to conclusions about things. Somebody could have, something could have triggered anxiety or something that just, you know, like I said, something could have triggered something, you know, that puts somebody in survival mode. A word could have been said, something, somebody could have witnessed something in their family, um, Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a whole lot of things going on in this card. It's a whole lot of things that's going on in this card that could have caused somebody to go back into a wilderness situation and leave something behind. Yeah, but again, I feel like somebody's been moving on from some kind of disappointment from the past. Then we also have the high uh, priest. And so again, somebody could have been just kind of sort of like just look, just looking at it just from a, a physical standpoint, like just basically just stuck right there. All I know is such and such, you know, that kind of stuff like, okay, all I know is that they just stopped calling or all I know is that, you know, uh, they said such and such or all I know is such and such. Somebody's going to stop looking at it from that point. Because I've seen in previous videos, or all I know is that they just being stubborn, or all I know is it seemed like such and such. Somebody's going to stop jumping to conclude. That's what's going to be broken in this cycle here. That's where in this vulnerability, that's where somebody's going to start asking. If you have access to people, asking direct questions. Well, what happened? Did I say something? You know, giving people an opportunity to answer the questions. Because you just don't know what triggers people. I feel like somebody was crying. Either you were crying or somebody else was crying, almost like just disappointment. Just like either you were disappointed or somebody else was disappointed. Like, here we go again. I got to be left out and just kind of like to fend for myself. It's either you or somebody was kind of like fend for themselves. So 
So this is discipline. So it's just saying um, it, it's it's hanging there with yourselves, like in terms of just kind of, um, you know, not being impulsive or not jumping to conclusions about things. Um, and so this is coexist, right? Coexist. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you'd be surprised it was was passed down in people's families, and some things are just like for some people they don't even want to be a part. I mean, for real, some people have gone through so many. Um, somebody have some people have been in so many wilderness situations. I mean, you know, survival mode in their own family. You know, it could appear that some people want it or like pick me's. I just want to be a part of something. I just want to be a part of something. When it could be just that they just are saying they just want to be what they may think is just something peaceful, you know, just like, okay, they just want, they would choose peace over chaos and confusion. They like, they could be drawn in by like the same type of music you like. They could be drawn in by something, you know, um, and that could be what you all have in common. They may, and that could be the, the thing. We like the same music. We like the same, you know, uh, such and such. Right. So here we have, yeah, but um, you are an answer prayer. Journal your journey. It's time to expand your brand, but listen to your intuition. Treat yourselves to a spa day. Check your request list again and dance around your home as if no one is watching. Um, it's time for you to open your vault door and you deserve the best. It's not Something is not as deep as somebody thinks it is, but it's time to do your third eye chakra cleanse. You have the gift of deja vu. Um, you have the gift of telepathy. And things can really start flowing to you like water. But it's time to always bet on you. But the curse is now broken. Curse is now broken. Somebody is not happy without you. But don't look back. Um, um, you made a positive impact on somebody. You made a positive impact on somebody. So, again, when I look at your cards here, um, you're having a double tower moment. Actually, triple tower moment looking at your cards here. And... Um, Somebody is finally moving on from past disappointments. But again, it's just when I look at the cars, it's like they're just being impulsive, like jumping, being around people who jump to conclusions and, and like throw throw uh, gasoline on that fire. Your fire sound like throw gasoline on that fire. Oh, yeah, that's I was thinking the same thing, too. And, you know, that such as that gossiping, you know, spirit. Um, but, yeah. It looks like music was something that drew you and somebody together. Music was like that thing that drew you and somebody together. There could be another Aries involved. There could be a Scorpio involved in something. Um, there could be a Taurus involved. There could be a uh, Aquarius involved. There could be a, uh, a Virgo involved. Um, what else? Um, Pisces, Sagittarius. It could, be a lot of, it could be a lot of energies involved, you know, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But Source is saying to you, um, you know, not to be impulsive, to jump. That's that's the beauty of, like, like I said before, is journaling, writing down, you know, just taking a minute to pray and meditate, not just pray and just dash off, <laughs> you know, like pray and meditate. So you can, like, really analyze, um, you know, some situations. So here we have sun god number 40. Come all, come now and expand into the skies and into the shadows below. And into the shadows below. Yeah, because the first things people think is like kind of like, um, you know, hurt. Like pe people being in survival mode is like, okay, I'm so fired up mad because you're all ruled by uh, Mars, which is the fighting plan. It's the plan of action and assertion, but it's also that fighting planet, that warrior planet is to be in fight mode, right? So, so it's saying you want to make sure you're not fighting against the wrong thing. Um, so you absolutely want to go into prayer and meditation and asking source for complete and total clarity. Yeah, definitely you want to ask source for clarity about everything. Um, let's see what else we got. You and your loved ones are safe. Yep, you and your loved ones are safe. Um, cancer could also be involved as well. Like, But you could have all of these zodiac signs in your birth chart. So check your birth chart first. Make sure 
but like I feel like somebody um kind of you know you may you know learn how to come stay in your crab shell and put those feelers out there to see what feels like survival mode and what doesn't feel like survival mode so again I'm talking to you not just if your sun sign is can I mean is, is uh Aries wherever Aries is in your birth chart including your Chiron because if your Chiron is in Aries and that wounded part of you of always feeling like you're in survival mode that could have been somebody was bullied or um made to feel like they always have to fend for themselves and just kind of running from one place to the next and just never feeling safe you know those kind of things and healing that part of yourself right so check your birth chart check your birth chart chiron is retrograde like i said in uh, other planets are retrograde too pluto saturn neptune are also retrograde so that you don't go into a form of escapism with neptune being retrograde going to like you know that kind of stuff instead you could use that imagination to dream bigger and go towards whatever you you know in a positive way so i am worthy of the very best in life and lovingly allow myself to accept what comes my way yeah so um so yeah let's see what else we got let's see what else we have 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 divine love so when you offer everything to the divine with detachment you begin a love affair with spirit you begin a love affair with spirit <clears throat> Yeah, you begin a love affair with spirit. Let's see what else we got going on here. I mean, it's time to look for a number. Ooh, look for a number card here. Looking for a number. Number, number, number card. Let's see if we can find a number card. Let me give you the questions for the moon and Taurus in a second. Number 11, I am intuitive. So you have keen awareness of what's happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift in order to help you to understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. Great guide and supporter. The um, question, the first question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? Fourth is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? What does your body need? That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.